Good morning, lovely year two children. Here we are for the start of another week, but this week is only a three day week. Oh, the stuff that dreams are made of. It does feel like it should be the holidays already, but it's not. So let's get on with some spag. So you need to get your board and your pen ready for this one, okay? Um, and yeah, pause me when you've got that. Okay, so you're back. So what we're going to do today is a bit more revision of stuff that we've already done because we've done so much in class. We've got all of this stuff that we can go back over and think about again. So we're going to be using apostrophes today. Can you remember doing apostrophes? And there were those two different types, weren't there? There was apostrophes for omission and there was apostrophes for possession. Can you remember those? So Look, we'll start with omission, and omission, I can remember talking with you, is when there's letter or letters missing from a word. So, if I was going to write the words, do not, if I was going to write that using an apostrophe for omission, I would change do not into the word don't. Do you remember now? It seems like ages ago that we did this. So what I'd like you to do first of all is split your board in two, all right? I'm just gonna pause you whilst I split my board in two, all right? Okay, it's the wonkiest line ever. Now I'm looking at it, whoop, now I'm looking at it on my screen. Hang on, chucked my pen at you. Ooh, that's what a wonky line does to me. So what I'd like you to do first of all is on one side, write the word do not, just like we did a minute ago. And then opposite, we're gonna write that using the apostrophe for omission, which is gonna be don't. There it is, can you remember that? And let me just make my apostrophe a bit more clear. There you go, so do not changes into don't. Um, and I can remember we had uh, someone else I once remember suggested cannot. You can write that all as one word, cannot, and that would become can't. I can't do that. I cannot do that. All right, so cannot would become can't. Would not, could not, and should not. We can have a go at those ones. All right. So are you remembering this? It, like I said, it was only very recently that we did this. So your challenge is now to, when I when I want you to pause me, I want you, you're gonna pause me and you're gonna go away and you're gonna remember that lesson that we did all about apostrophes for omission. And I would like you to go away and write as many, using this kind of style, as many of those as you possibly, possibly can, okay? And then I'm gonna be waiting here for you, so when you're ready to come back and you've got a huge long list on your board, come back and hopefully I'll have a really, really long list as well. So you're ready to pause me? One, two, three, pause. Ta -da. Okay, so on your board you should have two columns and you should have like the whole words and then you on the other side you should have um apostrophes with the words with the omitted letters all right so if you struggled with that look i've got some ideas on here if you didn't then i can't wait to see a photograph of your board of course you can use some of my ideas just to help you remember of course you can that's fine but what I want to do now, just for the last little bit of this video, I'm going to see if you can help me to work out how these are going to look using that apostrophe for omission. So we've got do not. Can you shout out what do you think that is going to be when it's an apostrophe? Do not. Say it even louder. Good work. Don't. That's it. So d o n with the apostrophe because we've missed out that oh look there. Okay, so that one's gonna be don't. Do not becomes don't. What about will not? I wish I'd have put this one down a little bit further now because this one is always a bit of a weird one. So will not, there's no such word as willant. It's not gonna be willant. This one, will not, becomes won't. I will not do it or I won't do it. Okay, so will not becomes won't. 
What about I will? I will be so good. That becomes I'll. I'll be so good. Sometimes if you forget the apostrophe, it looks like you've written ill. So I apostrophe or I will. All right. So there you go. I will becomes I'll. What about do, well, hey, I've got do not twice. I was not thinking straight when I did that one. What about, we'll change do not then into does not. Okay, hang on, let me do a bit of, look at that, live editing for you. Does not. What do you reckon does not will become? Um, it does not turn on would become it doesn't turn on, doesn't. So does with the N apostrophe T. All right, doesn't, doesn't. What about you are? You are funny becomes you are funny. This one, when you get older, you'll notice that lots of people get very, very fussy about this one. Cool. So we're gonna miss out the A, ah, which is gonna be our apostrophe, and then it's gonna have R, E. Lots of people get confused between you are, like you are, and your, like, your work. So um, you are becomes you are. And then this final one, let us play becomes let's. Let's play. All right, there you go. The sun is shining again. Do you know this weekend I, I went to put up a blind in here, which I've been meaning to do for weeks and weeks and weeks. I put it up on the window and the, the ceiling all collapsed in. <laughs> My goodness. So it's still just as bright in here as ever. I would show you the ceiling, but it's so bright out that window, you won't even be able to see it anyway. But yeah, you can just imagine I'm sitting in absolute carnage in here. It looks It looks okay just this direction, but all around the rest of the room, it looks like a building site. So that's my other tidying job. My goodness me. Right, so what I want you to do is upload me a picture of your whiteboard using like the whole words and then with an arrow go into what they look like when they've used the apostrophe for omission. Um, so if you do that and upload it to Churchill, I'm also going to link to the Year One's phonics. I still think it's a good idea if you have a go at doing the Year One's phonics, even though it's, it's for Year One and it's not for Year Two. It's good to have a reminder, especially today because it's using F and F, as in F and then PH. All right, so have a go at doing the phonics as well today. Okay, all right, I'll see you later on. Bye.